My name is John Harding, I'm a Tom Orthopaedic Surgeon. And I'm David Coates, a consultant and anaesthetist. John, this is a young man, one of your patients, a footballer who'd had really quite a lot of trouble with his knee, a lot of pain. Yes, he'd uh, got medial joint line pain. And the MRI scan we did showed up an osteochondritis death scan. That's a damage to the surface of the joint. Well, that's at the outside of his knee, the arrow yeah. pointing to where it hurts. Is yeah, that right? right in the middle of his kneecap there. And this is probably because of this uh, scarred, torn ligament mucosum. I'm just removing that remnant of the ligament mucosum, which is healed to the anterior cruciate ligament after the original injury. That must have been a few years ago. So, but that's not the osteochondritis desiccans. No, no, that's coming in a minute. This is really just the remnants of the torn ligament mucosum. If you don't remove that, patients do have persistent pain. So that's the cruciate ligament right in the middle there. And yep, that's that's in good nick. Now there's the tag. That's the thing that's caused the osteochondritis. The bit at, right at the bottom. That gristle below is what's caused the damage. So we're going to have to remove the gristle before we deal with the damaged surface of the joint. And there's the shaver going in to remove the hard gristle. Does all that show up on the MRI scan? No, the gristle doesn't, although the osteochondritis shows up really very well. Yeah, that's the femoral condyle with the soft flap of raised uh, cartilage on it. Yes, that flap will catch as he bends and straightens his knee and you can lose a huge amount of cartilage if you don't deal with the flap. So you have to assume that underlying it is some sort of uh, tag from Hoffa's fat pad that's caused this damage. It's very important to remove both the tag that caused the damage and anything loose and damaged from the surface of the joint. Because we've seen a few patients who've obviously had this bit, the condyle, sorted out, but the, uh, the gristly part has been left behind. Yeah, the patients often continue to have pain and impingements, and unless you remove that tag, their symptoms aren't going to resolve. This chap felt a lot better after removing both the gristly tag from Hopper's fat pad and this unstable portion of the surface of his joint.